Hello friends, what's up? It's your buddy Keith and I am here live again in the control room of the world famous Essex Recording Studios just outside London in Southend-on-Sea, England, baby. We've got the top of the line Mac Daddy Ibanez SR5000 bass to share with you guys today. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, smash subscribe, come join our 9,000 circle of friends here on YouTube and you're going to be in for a wild ride where you see some of the rarest, coolest, and most upscale instruments in the world up close and in person as if you were holding them in your very own hands. You get to see all the detailed features that magazine photos just don't capture and it makes you feel as if you were holding one of these in your local guitar shop. Very, very cool. So, what do we have here? This is the SR5000. But this is the new SR5000 model. If you remember on our channel, we actually have, I think it's our biggest Ibanez video. We had an older SR5000E, which they made, I think up until about 99, 1999. They brought back the SR5000 in, I think, 2016. You can go on the Ibanez wiki. It's like one of the best websites in the world where they detail all the history, all the variations by model year. But uh, yes, this was brought back, I think around 2016, and exists today. They dropped the E off the model name, it's SR5000. And there's some great, great modern features with this. So, what do we have here? We've got individual monorail bridges for each string. Very, very cool. Custom Bartolini passive pickups, in a jazz bass configuration, and you've got a three-band Ibanez Custom EQ. Very, very cool. The body is wenge on top of uh, African mahogany with wenge back. So top back is wenge, nice carved top, very detailed grain, very dramatic looking. The fretboard is adorned with these gorgeous abalone and mother of pearl oval uh, fret markers. You get two dots at the 24th and the 12th fret flanking those ovals. And a very beautiful gold embossed raised uh, sound gear logo from Ibanez there. Gold hardware, go to tuners. Uh, just a top, top spec pro instrument. Comes with elixir strings. You get the uh, black tusk uh, from Graph Tech, the nut right here, and you have KTS titanium rods in the neck. So this thing is built to uh, withstand nuclear war. Absolutely an awesome instrument. The case is epic. We even have the original box, the shipping box this came in. If you wanna buy this base, it is for sale on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com and on Reverb.com. You can see all the case candy comes in the Prestige Team J-Craft case here. Um, original manuals, quality test passing there. Let's go ahead and take this out of its case so we can show you in more detail what this is like. I'll tell you what, I'll put this down right here under our sign. So a lot going on with this body. You can see the mahogany and then this, you have kind of like a, three rings here, like a dark brown outer ring, kind of a tan inner ring and then the, or a white inner ring and then back to the mahogany and then boom, hits the wench. You can see exactly how contoured the top is. And you can feel, you know, they have a light sealant in this, but yes, you can feel all of these pores in the wood, very natural, uh, feeling instrument. Extremely resonant. Tremendous sustain. You've got the input jack here. Nice and flush and hidden away. On the back. Let's see the back. You've got your quick access battery compartment for your EQ. All your controls there. Still has the plastic on the back cover. This is a 2018 model. Again, Beautiful figure detail. The neck is a five piece. It's a Babinga in Wenge. In 2019, 
they got rid of the babinga and they changed it to walnut, interestingly enough. As we come up here, you see we have the F serial number for Fujigen, where this was constructed by them in Japan, 18 for 2018, the model year. There's that KTS Tone Resonant Titanium Reinforced Neck. Gold Goto tuners with some of my fingerprints. And the Prestige logo screwed into the back top here. Very classy, very elegant, and very cool. Yeah. Uh, I love these bases. I think they look super cool. They're very light. The neck is very thin, very easy to play. Um, I've got kind of short, fat, stubby hands. And man, having a neck like this just makes life wonderful. Yeah, absolutely stunning. From memory, not a whole lot different looking in my mind from the earlier 90s version of this. But uh, I'll have to go back and look at my own video. What I can say is this thing looks like brand new. When you have all these pores exposed in the body, you know, even if you do get a little mark here or there, it just looks like natural wood. You know, there's a few little marks. I think I saw at the bottom here. You can see where it's just been rested down on the ground and you're gonna have that. But the other nice thing too is if these little, these little marks here bother you, it's natural wood. You can always take it to your local luthier or if you're really handy and you can just use really fine sandpaper and then get rid of those little marks. Beauty, absolutely beautiful instrument. And the cases are so nice. Look at how plush and thick the padding is on this. Ibanez just does a tremendous job on uh, giving you like the very best protection from the factory. Yeah, really cool. You can see the build date here. What is it? The 18th of May, or excuse me, the 26th of May. 2018 and uh, lots of literature for you to read if you're bored look at that man it's a family bible all right guys and that is the ibanez sr 5000 this is their top japanese prestige line instrument if you want anything better than this uh i don't think they make anything better than this they can make something different than this through their j custom custom shop but uh it's going to be built by the very same people and they're going to do just as good of a job for sure all right everybody i'm going to get going thanks for checking this out i don't know if you've been drooling like me over this but uh yeah i uh i just love i love good good detailed finishes where you can see all that wood grain and then abalone and mother of pearl who doesn't like a little bit of bling again if you want to buy it on the sx recording studios website on reverb.com and if you want to record with this beast well that's what we have all those cool bass cabinets back there for actually one of those is uh, iggy pop's touring bass fridge and we've got where are they now we move them we've got some uh, some nice mesa boogie bass heads we've got three or four of two bass heads from Mesa Boogie. Good, good stuff. So yeah, if you want to record, just get in touch, guys. Book some time. We will make some awesome music together. And until then, just uh, follow us on the socials. It's at Essex Recording Studios. That's on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. If you want to see something really cool we did recently in the studio, in that room over there, well, we've got that big neon sign across from our control room. Yesterday, we had Katrin Meek in doing insane stuff on her world-class harp. She plays at Royal Albert Hall and at Abbey Road, and she did a cover of Stairway to Heaven. Um, that's just going to be awesome. That's going to be on the YouTube channel this weekend, too. So look out for that. In other news, we've got a major, major, major television uh, company coming in to record us in a two weeks' time. So we're very excited about that. Can't say much about that project, but it's going to be epic. All right, guys. I will catch you all later. 
look up uh, more basses and more Ibanez instruments on our playlist on the channel. Catch you all later.